Alright, these are the guys I was looking for. These guys are called Soldier Third. I want to go ahead and kill one of these guys off, because these guys can be pretty tough to kill. You know, these guys can be pretty... They, they can hurt you pretty badly. But these are the guys I look for. These guys are called Soldier Third, as I said. I want to kill one of them off and save the other and just try to steal from him. Alright, there we go. No, now everybody else is just going to defend. Except Cloud, I want you to steal. It's, it's a pretty good weapon that I'm trying to steal, so it may be very hard to steal from him. Alright, there it is, the hard edge. Hey, you want to be careful with those soldier thirds because they are they are pretty strong. They have their pretty pretty strong physical attack, and they have a skill called Flying Sickle, which will do some good damage. The thing is, their their skills use up a lot of uh, a lot of their MP. So it doesn't take long for them to be actually out of MP. You might have seen a couple of times in that scene while I was trying to steal. If the skill, uh, Soldier Third skill power is used up, that means he's out of MP and he couldn't use that flying sickle move anymore. So all I could do was just attack. Which even then, uh, his attacks weren't that uh, powerful. Uh, or, or, or even then, you know, when, he, when the skill power is used up, the, the computer, the AI is still trying to use that skill. So it just makes the character do nothing and just stand there. As you also see right there, Barrett gained a... Uh, Gained Mind Blow. He used his uh, first level limit break enough to learn his second level one limit break. So now he's got two level one limit breaks. What Mind Blow does, I was going to tell you real quick here. Mind Blow does the same thing, or looks the same as Big Shot. The Mind Blow focuses on MP. Um, when you use Mind Blow, it uh, damages your opponent's MP, not HP. So if you're trying to get rid of your opponent's MP quickly, you can use that skill. It's not bad. I wouldn't use it that often, but it's not bad. Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Between episodes, I picked up a uh, hard edge for Cloud, and I have a total of five carbon bangles now. I'm going to show you what the, car the um, hard edge does. Compared to the Buster Sword, you can see attack increases by uh, almost double. Attack percentage goes, goes, uh, up to 90, goes up to 98, and we get two separate slots. Now we have a total of four slots, even though they're not uh, paired. Or, well, two, uh, seven of them is impaired. But, so attack damage goes up by quite a bit, so. The Hard Edge is a very good weapon, and I'll show you later on, when we're able to actually purchase the Hard Edge, how far along ahead of the game it is, so. Alright. We are ready to go upstairs, so let's go in here. Go up to the upper floor. Step out here, and continue with the plot. Eris is in the, the thing. Oh, there's for the yawns. Hmm. I don't really see the point. If we... Okay, so what if we kill you? So Okay, so no one can operate the equipment. What do we care? I guess... I guess technically he means that if we kill him, we won't be able to get Eris out, so... Mm. Oh, so he brought the dog up to the upper level with Eris. Now it's trying to attack her. Great. Well, that's rude. That can't be good. Oh, 
Oh, doggy attacks Hojo. I'll go for it. Alright, here's a safety out. Okay, so there's something on the elevator. Obviously our boss is not going to be the dog. What? What? The dog just spoke. Alright, I believe this is another uh, romance option or uh, game, uh, affects the dating mechanic here. I think whoever you asked to take care of Eris, or if you asked Tifa to take care of Eris, you lose points with her. And if you asked Barrett to take care of Eris, you gain points with Tifa, I think. See, again, I'm not entirely sure of the, uh, of the date mechanics, and I'm going to feel like because I don't really care. Um, so he's got the stronger weapon right now. I think the stronger weapon is on Tifa. And right now, obviously, we're going to have Cloud. Whichever two, of the, whichever one of the two party members I don't pick, either Tifa or Barrett, and our puppy dog friend here. So let's go with... Let's go with... Uh, to have Barrett take Eris, and the way it's Tifa, me, and the dog. Alright, well, he goes by Red 13. We're actually going to just call him Red. Alright, apparently I can't just use the keyboard to delete things anymore, so we're just going to call him Red. Delete, 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 delete. Red. Really? I'm going to use the keyboard to type. Uh, I could have just kept the Red 13 up there, but for later on in the dialogue, it would actually just, it, it would be too complicated whenever they talk to actually call him Red 13 with the, with the XIII every time. Because they would actually, because in the dialogue they would actually call him Red 13. Hey, Red 13. Hey, Red 13. I just think it would be easier just to call him Red. So that's what, normally I wouldn't change the names of the characters, but for something like this, I'm going to just make it simple. Alright. We don't get a chance to change any of our gear, so I could have set this up beforehand, but I wasn't. I didn't really remember. And we can't really change any of Red's gear, so... Alright, here's our boss. The boss is the guy in the back, the HO512 in the back row. The three in the front we don't care about. As you see, he just cast ma uh, poison on us all. Tifa, limit break. Yeah, and hit. Alright. Red, as you see, he's got attack. He's got fire magic with an all materia. Which, is, this is the reason why I didn't want to buy into the fire materia, even though I did. As I knew there was, I was going to get a fire materia for, from Red. And have him cast fire all. And he also has this, another steel material, which is awesome. Or, or, or not a steel material, he has a sense material, which unfortunately is not awesome. Nothing to steal from him, so we'll just go ahead and uh, go ahead and attack. Uh, go ahead and ignore the, like I said, uh, use your magic to ignore the ones in the front row. If you want to, you can use antidotes to uh, cure the. Uh, there it is, cure the poison if you'd like. Since Teeth is really low on health, I want to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and have you cast fire again and use cure of cloud or Tifa use cure on Tifa so she can just, just die. Magic. See, you, the, the, reason, the reason why I said don't bother uh, killing those three in the front, he's, he's just going to revive them anyway. If you end up killing one, it's no big deal, but he's going to be re reviving them every time you kill them, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Thunder. He's, uh, I believe he's actually immune, he actually absorbs poison damage, so don't bother using poison on him. Fire again on Poja on the Ocho Five Twelve. I think he's weak to fire. I think I'm the one ones in the middle. Uh, thunder on the guy in the back. Magic fire again. Again, the boss in the back is what you're targeting. Once you kill him, all the enemies will die. So just keep cut. Just keep casting fire on Ocho Five Twelve. Magic. Uh, I'll go ahead and use Blizzard. Why not? <laughs> Let's go ahead and cure up Red and go ahead and give him a, an antidote to fix the fix his uh, 
Uh, where is it? Antidote to fix his poison. Oh, red died anyway. Damn. Oh well, I'll use the Phoenix down. Maybe get, let me get to the uh, tomb in time. Okay, Shady Breath going to end up poisoning again. That's okay. We'll uh, use a. Oh, I missed a Beast Tifa, so I don't have to worry about using an Antidote. So we'll use Fire on HO512. There's the Phoenix down to wake up the puppy. Magic, fire on HO512 in the back. We're going to go ahead and cure up red. Oh, oh, cure red. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. He's, and he's dead. Alright. Then you got a talisman. And new materia. And red, red's theme. Well, then you're surrounded by things you don't like there, Red. So Red knows the way out, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. We need to form party members because, of course, like I said, we can't all go into five five member party. God forbid, we actually have five members in our party. Because splitting up is a great idea too. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and cancel button for the change party. Uh, I want to bring. Let's see, she has no material on her. He has material on him. I can already exchange that later. So go ahead and go to the menu. Let's go ahead and strip everybody's material for now. Because I want to do a new setup here. Exchange, get rid of, get, take the little bear's material off. Okay, arrange. For changing party, who do I want in my party? Also, who you choose for your party here also determines, uh, also affects the dating scene. Um, if you have Tifa and or Eris in the party, you gain points with them. Uh, I don't know if you lose points if you don't have them in the party. I'm not sure about that. But I know that if you include them in the party, you gain points with them. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Who do I want? Red is level 15. Barrett is 13. And definitely still needs to work on his limit breaks some more. Eris has seal evil, so she's got her two limit breaks. Tifa has not learned her third limit break yet. Red just joined the party, but we can get him. We can have him join later to get his uh, limit break. So I'm not worried about Red right now. So, hmm, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. let's see. Who do I want to take with me for this? I'm not worried. Red, I or you can get Red's limit breaks later. So, Eris hasn't been in our party for a while, so she needs kills. So I should bring her along. Let's take Eris and Tifa along with us. That way Eris can work on her skills. And she's also the lowest level as well. She's only 11, so she's four levels behind Cloud and everyone else. So, Okay. That's fine. Let's set up a menu. Let's go ahead and equip her with a... Mithril... No, Carbon Bangle. Yeah, Carbon Bangle. Don't worry about any accessory. You can tell us when Spirit plus 10. I believe spirit increases your magic attack, or maybe it's your magic defense. Mm, I can't remember. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll probably end up selling it, so I'm not gonna bother equipping it. Uh, as far as gear, if I've got carbon, also as far as materia. <sighs> Damn it! I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning all the goddamn time. All right, for cloud, we'll go. We'll stick with lightning all for multi-targeting attack. We'll give Eris. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give Eris restore all. I know I said Norman I wouldn't use uh, restore all for multi-targeted curing, but considering her magic stat is gonna be the highest one, I'm gonna go ahead and have her be my dedicated uh, healing mage. So in case I, so if I need multi-targeted healing, I can do that with her. Uh, and then give T, give Tifa a regular restore, and then give her 
lightning all because we're still in an area that has a lot of enemies that are weak to lightning. Give Eris the final lightning material with lightning elemental on her weapon in case she does attack. She can actually do lightning elemental damage. Mm -hmm. Nose itch. Alright. Cloud, take the final restore materia. Uh, go ahead and take poison. Eris, go ahead and take. Oh, nope, you're not Eris. Eris, take the cover materia. Cloud, take the steel materia. Uh, he's got lightning, poison restore. Go ahead and take one of the fire materias. Fire materia there, and fire materia here. Restore lightning, fire, okay. And then what's left is ice and scent, so I'm going to put the ice material on you just for AP. And I don't care about the sense material. Alright. So, I've got lightning, all for multi-targeting magic, fire and ice. Ice mostly just for the AP. Fire so I can have a different element, and because I want the AP on because I want fire to level, eventually level up. Restore, obviously. Poison, just for AP growth, because it'll be good later. And steel, because steel is obviously going to be uh, useful. I don't, I don't think I'll be doing any more stealing here in Midgar. We're going to... Um, uh, so I don't really need the steel material, but I'm, I've got it on there anyway. I don't have anything else to put. Uh, lightning elemental, so she can, so if she attacks, she can do elemental damage. And she has fire, and she has restore all for multi-targeting curing, and then cover because she needs to cover to help boost her uh, uh, limit breaks, which I'm going to inflict her with fury once I get done here. And finally, Tifa has lightning all for multi-targeting attack, restore, and fire. I don't need to have the sense material on because I don't care. Alright, so let's go down here to a Hyper, smack Eris with it, alright. Alright, we are done with our setup, so let's hit OK and get out of here. We have a 66th floor elevator. Alright, now before we head out of here, there is a materia up here that we want to grab. This is an enemy skill materia, my, probably my favorite materia in the game. It is a command material because it is yellow, but it actually would be appropriate if it was actually... It would be appropriate if it was blue, but it's not It's not a uh, support material. It's actually a command material. And I'm going to actually replace... Uh, I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Eris for now. It's not really going to be useful here in Midgar, but uh, it'll be useful eventually. What the enemy skill material does is it absorbs... It, not absorbs. It can be taught in skills that the enemies can cast on you. Now, it doesn't work with all enemies. Essentially, it's a, it's your it's your blue magic skill. As enemies cast abilities on you, as long as you have this enemy skill equipped to that character, the character can learn that ability. I can't really give you an example, well, because we haven't learned any skills, but eventually you'll come across enemies that will cast abilities that the enemy skill will learn, and once the enemy skill learns that, that character can use those skills on the enemy. Now, there are some rules for how this works. The skill must be used on a character that has the enemy skill material equipped and has not already learned that skill. Okay? That's, that's kind of obvious. But the reason I say that specifically is there is more than one enemy skill material in this game, and you can equip multiple enemy skills to one person. So let's say, for example, I had two enemy skills on Eris. When an enemy uses an enemy skill on Eris, that en that skill will be learned on both those materials, assuming neither one has already learned that skill. If either one of those uh, enemy skills that she has equipped already has learned that skill, she will not learn it for the other materia, even if it's cast on her. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, another thing, you learn the enemy skill, you can use it in battle as soon as, you, as soon as it's cast on you. However, you must still win the battle. If you are defeated, kicked out, or ejected from the battle, which is not a game over, uh, if you're gained over, ejected, or escaped from the battle, run from the battle, you will not keep that skill. So you have to have the enemy cast on you while you have an, an, uh, while you have an enemy skill on you. The enemy skill cannot already be learned by that materia, and you must win the battle. So you want to keep that in mind. Those are those are the three most important things to remember. You cannot run from. So you even if you have to get a powerful skill um, uh, cast on you, even if it says that skill was learned, if you run from battle, 
You don't get to keep that skill. You don't. Alright. At least in my experience, I don't think you can keep it. Alright. So we're done there. Um, what equip... What, uh, what, what material did I take off? Oh, okay. I didn't take off anything. I added the enemy skill to, to Eris. The reason I kept the steel material on Cloud is because Cloud is the highest level. And like I said, the steel work material works best on the character with the higher level. Because it's your level compared to your uh, your opponents. <clears throat> Alright, with that said and done, let's go ahead and put Cloud in the middle. Because we've got two ladies on each end. Yeah. And now that we have the enemy skill material, we can get out of here. We need to meet to the 66th floor elevator. But first, let's come up here talk to this guy. And he gives us the 68th floor key card. Even though we need to go to the 66th floor. So we're going to go over here and pick up these two items. Two potions. And we have no need to go to the 68th floor just yet. But we eventually would have to get it from him anyway. So we we'll going to get it from him now. And then we come in here and get these two potions. There we go. Alright, now we head to the 66th floor elevator. And we are on the uh, 68th floor right now. So we need to go down to the 66th go through this door here. By the way, the moth slashers that you can get the carbon bagels from can be got on this floor, which is the 67th, or the floor we just came from, the 68th. And the same is true for the Soldier Thirds. If you haven't gotten the hard edge from the 67th floor, you can get both the carbon bagels from the moth slashers and the hard edge from the Soldier Thirds on this floor and the 68th floor. Alright, I'm going to throw down a save here real quick and be right back. Alright, we're saved and ready to go. Let's go ahead and close you on out of here with some uh, enemies along the way, of course. Oh, here's the Soldier Thirds I was just talking about. I already, so, already showed these guys to you when I got the uh, Hard Edge. But I'm going to show off Seal Evil here because I haven't shown that yet, I don't think. And boom, they are, they are paralyzed and they are silenced. So even once paralyzation wears off, which it can wear off, Silence does not wear off unless they cure themselves, which I don't think they do. So once they come out of si once they come out of paralyze, they'll uh, they can uh, they won't be able to cast any of their abilities because they're silenced. And you see what that was it that I cast the bio skill there. What that does that it, that I obviously cast the, the poison attack. But also has a chance to inflict poison on an enemy. And you see him flash green there for a second just before he died. He got su successfully inflicted with poison. So, had he not died from the actual attack, he could have been poisoned and he would have taken damage over time. And poison doesn't automatically cure until after battle. Whereas some, uh, some status ailments do. Usually paralyzation wears off, sleep wears off. Now here's another moss slasher. Um, a lot of them do wear off during battle. But, mo but uh, Poison does not. Let's just go with Thunder, Thunder, Thunder on uh, the Mouth Flasher because he's a robot here. I could have cut this battle out, but I know I'll get rid of him quickly, so I'll just go ahead and do this in the battle tech, what, three seconds? Alright. We hit the 66th floor, so we need to go down one. And the reason we have to go to the 66th floor elevator because you might have noticed any any um, of the floors above 66 don't have elevators down here. All right, let's go in the door here, and we're at 66 floor. Where's our pals? You're not one of our pals. That's rude. Obviously, one of the Turks. Well, we're screwed. They tied Tifa's arms, all Cloud's arms, and Barrett's arms, but they couldn't really tie Red's arms because he would not be able to walk. Yeah, where is there? She wasn't here with us. In a safe place. That really narrows it down. Yeah, we already know about the ancients. I always know that she's an ancient. Oh. 
So the ancients were called the Cetra. Well, I see why they're called ancient, that they're thousands of years old. To the promised land. Hmm. Apparently Red knows quite a bit about these kind of things. Fertile land, huh? So Neo Midgar rebuilt at the Promised Land. Mm, especially in a corporate world like this. Barry's about to say, huh? Yeah, Rune's just going to push him back. <laughs> I think we scared the hell out of your secretary earlier. When he, when he busted in the Shinra building at the bottom floor. Which he was probably just a receptionist, huh? Eh, whatever. Well, we made it to jail, and apparently we got stuck in a jail cell with Tifa. What are we going to do? Find out in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sure you guys hate me now. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Scorn, the Crimson Renegade. <laughs> the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.